Look at those crazy outlines. What the heck is that? What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and it is feeding day today. We're gonna to be going into that snake room and we're gonna be feeding rats and mice and all the crazy stuff that we do on feeding day. It's, a, it's an insane day, actually. It's a very long day. Pablo's here really late usually. And then we gotta go, because once we feed, we gotta go back and make sure the snakes ate the food and check them out. So, and then usually they pooped or the rats pooped and they made a mess in the water bowl. So why not, while I'm cleaning and going through stuff, I'll be just snapping videos and just looking at cool stuff that's growing up and showing you guys off some stuff that I really like. By the way, I've been actually having some really good conversations with a lot of breeders out there. We've been doing a lot of trades. Uh, I think the market seems to be a little slow lately. So I think a lot of guys have been trading to try to get the stuff that they want. I like that because, you know, I have stuff that people want. People have stuff I want. Um, and so I, I've been just looking at other people's pages and we've been just making some deals. And that, that's cool. That's that's the fun part of the, the, the trade, you know, when you can do stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff that's growing up, some stuff that I'm excited about. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into that snake room. All right. Here's my uh, snow male python, carpa python, I should say. He's eight. He looks like he's going to the shed here, of course, because I want to show him off. He's eating nice medium, actually he's eating small rats now. So there's a possibility that he breeds this coming year. He is a 20, so he's over two years old, but these guys grow slow, a slow grower. So we'll see. He was a slow starter. We had to be assist fed for probably six months and then he started eating. And you can see he's got some yellows in him, but he's actually in shed. He's really, really right white when he's not in shed, but we'll see. We'll see what he looks like when he's uh, post shed. And right, here's my caramel, what I believe to be caramel albino. I think it's a caramel and an albino. I produced this in 20 also. This is a litter mate to the guy I just showed you. She's also eating small rats now. She's good. She just doesn't look like an albino to me. So I'm assuming that she's caramel albino. I'll have to breed her out to prove her. It's hard to tell when they get to this stage. She looked, she looked caramel albino when she was born, so she didn't look like any of the other albinos. She's also 66% head moon glow. So she's, that means she's 66% head azanthic essentially. I'd love to breed her out and try to prove her out at some point. She's a beautiful, beautiful snake. One of, she really has gotten really nice looking since she's gotten bigger. The bigger she's getting, the nicer she's getting and she's getting more whites in her. So this is not your typical albino for sure. Carpet python uh, tour today. All my carpets I'm growing up. All right, here's what I believe to be my moon glow. She's not a full moon, meaning she only has one copy of the caramel gene. So she's caramel albino azanthic. And that's one incomplete dominant, two recessives. She just uh, attacked the camera. Yeah, she, these girls just ate, so they're, they're not too happy. But you can tell she's, she's way different than the one I just showed you because she has a lot more yellows removed because she has the azanthic gene and azanthic gene removes yellows, but not all yellows, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish it did. So the caramel kind of erases a little bit more yellow. And she's got like those whitish eyes and pretty, I would say, you know, I got to prove her out obviously by breeding her, but I would say she's probably one copy of moon glow. And then we're going to try to, we're still trying to produce the full moon over here, which would be a completely white snake. Haven't achieved that yet. Maybe this year will be the first year we do it. You know, today was feeding day, so I'm just going through all the tubs right now. Pablo went home already. It's like 10 o'clock. Usually I don't come back to the snake room, but I just had this. I had, it was a very busy day on my bodybuilding channel, so I actually interviewed Randy Lanier, if any of you guys know him. He was a uh, famous race car driver. He also did 27 years for smuggling marijuana back in the day, and then during the Obama administration, he was freed because of the ridiculous long jail sentence he was given so he's uh, out he just wrote a book and I interviewed him really pretty cool so now I missed a lot of time in the snake room so this girl is pretty much almost ready for a, a much bigger I'm going to put her in a cage I think 
Um, she right now she's in a tub, but I'm I'm looking to buy some more vision cages. I really like the vision cage. I want to set them up with lights. Just uh, I'm more into like displaying these animals now a little bit more as opposed to just keeping them all in drawers. Obviously, when they're babies, it's nice to keep them in a the drawer because it's kind of secure. You can control heat and humidity better. But I think, look at that, look at that beautiful head pattern. Wow, she's gorgeous. Diamonds are some of my favorite pythons, believe it or not. A lot of people, you know, once people get them, everyone says the same thing. Until you get them, you know, you don't know. They're, they're really, really mild mannered too. They have good personalities. They're not real biters or anything like that. And they just have an amazing pattern to them. And there's a some of them are reduced pattern. This girl was dark when I got her and she's, now that she's older, she's gotten a much more reduced pattern. Whereas her sister, I've showed you before, she's really reduced pattern. Almost what they call a stardust. It's like a teen, teen positive like albino. So, well, we're gonna leave her alone now. This little beautiful, gorgeous hypo labby, it's head sharp albino, has got a huge lump in her. She had a nice, Actually, I think she had a large rat today, yeah. She had a big large rat. Look at that pattern. Look, she almost looks like IMG. She's so well-defined. This is a Jeff Ronnie animal I bought. Uh, actually, she's not a hyper. She's just labby head sharp. Possible head um, anery, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's probably so dark, but she's not hypo. My mistake. Look at look at the crazy labby pattern and how well-defined that is. A lot of contrast in this snake. Super, super beautiful. Can't wait to breed her in probably another year or so. Now this snake is a beauty. This little boy, we're growing up. Look at the blue eye on him. This is a labyrinth, fire, head DPIT positive. Just gorgeous. Like the, the creamiest pattern I've ever seen with the pinks in there. Just, I've shown you this boy before. He's putting on some nice size now. He's not gonna breed this year. He'll breed next year, but hopefully. He's really, I, any chance I get to show this boy off, I love him. Very, very nice little combination. Labby and fire, terrific together. All right, here's a very big girl. who's in a dirty cage, but we usually clean the day after we feed. This is a Paradigm Blood that I produced a number of years back. She's putting on some really nice size and hopefully she'll breed for us this uh, this coming fall. I haven't decided what I want to put with her, but beautiful, really. She's really gotten a lot lighter, actually, as she's gotten older, believe it or not. And once again, Paradigm being 100% uh, head sharp, 100% head bow woman caramel. They interact with each other allelically, producing a creamy looking snake. And then you got the blood gene, which is recessive as well. And you get this beautiful paradigm blood. All right, I just want to show you my, my very first ball python ever. Blecky, actually has a name. We all name our first couple animals, right? And Blecky is a normal. I don't think anyone even knows what a normal ball python looks like anymore. I, I, I keep her because she's my first, but I also keep her because she's a normal and I have no other normals. So I, if I ever have to go back and reference what a normal looks like, I have to use her as my reference point because I don't know what they look like. That's, isn't that funny? The, the normal has become, I think I might have to give her like a, like a real like habitat, like with a display cage and everything like that, just to say, hey, for people who don't know, because the new generation has no idea that a ball python actually looks like this in the wild, here's a um, wild type ball python. All right, Blucky, doing good, 13 years old. She's had two, two clutches, or three clutches, I think, her whole life. I only breed her every couple of years. Sometimes she goes through hunger strikes. She's been eating that recently, so maybe she'll probably breed her next year, just for good measure. I haven't even put tags on these yet. They're blank. Only knows it's a male. Haven't sat down with Pavel, and we haven't gone over all the genes and all these snakes yet, but this is a one beautiful pied as I'm going through tubs to make sure everyone ate. All right? Doesn't get much nicer than that. Really, really nice. This is, looks like it could be, I wonder if this is, this is probably banana and she orange dream. Oh, this is the one that could be potentially hypopied. It's possible. Hmm. 
because the, the mother was a lesser pie, a lesser banana pie, but we weren't sure about, you know, because lesser pies are white, we weren't sure what else was in there. She could even be a super banana pie, possibly. It's both parents with names. She's got some nice highlights, though. There's your lesser pie, right there. Same clutch. Definitely banana lesser pie. Might be a super banana lesser pie. Look at that. Usually lesser pies have like a reddish eye. That's like a really red, red, red eye. Whoa, she came right at me. She could be a, she could be a super banana lesser pie. You never know. Whoa, there's a banana pie that's a female. That could be a super banana pie as well. Look at how light that one is. Look at those crazy outlines. What the heck is that? That is weird. I mean, I guess that could be the yellow belly in there, but that is some looking pie. She's shed a few times at a couple meals. She's really that nice. I wonder what makes that outline like that. I know yellow belly can make a jagged outline. That's like, like someone took a marker. Look, I almost thought my son Logan got in here with a marker and just coloring on these things. They look so beautiful. That's nice. See what happens when you, you, you put your stuff in your rack and you don't even look at it for a couple weeks and you come back and you're like, wow, these things change completely. All right, there he is. I had to clean his uh, tub out, but Blue Thunder. This is my blue line, or one of my bluest of the blue line. Sun Glow Boas that I produced this year. A lot of people love this one because of the white tail. There's a jungle in here. I'm not sure, but someone was suggesting there might be jungle in this. Really blue though. He's getting bluer and bluer as he gets older. And we love that because we're trying to produce the bluest boas. So, should we call him Mr. Blue or or Blue Thunder? I just like I said, I interviewed Randy Lanier and his racing team used to be Blue Thunder, so I might pick that. But he doesn't want to cooperate. He wants to keep looking at me. I love this boy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Bows. It was a quick day because we were feeding and I really have that much time. I wasn't even going to do a video. And then I said, you know what? I don't want to leave these guys hanging. There's some cool stuff I'm looking at. I'll just film while I'm cleaning, while I'm feeding, while I'm doing what I got to do. And, uh, and, and that's what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do enjoy these videos, please show me the love. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit that like button. I promise I'll be back tomorrow morning with a really cool video.